Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont from Come On Now, the podcast. And I'm here to rant a little bit about something that happened yesterday at the WNBA All-Star Weekend. Before we jump in, thank you for your continued support of our channel. Please do subscribe, follow, and share with your friends. We do we, we greatly appreciate it. Let's jump right on in. The WNBA has now had two, three negatives happen in the past two days. The first being with Caitlin Clark and Sabrina Ionescu turning down the thir- three-point contest t- tonight. Um, and now having a three-point contest of basically people that nobody cares about for which most people who would have otherwise watched the three-point contest tonight are not going to watch it. (laughs) So that happens. Now, we don't really know why they turned it down. I mean, Sabrina gave her reasons for why. We never really heard why from Caitlin other than, you know, who knows, she she might be tired, but I'm not a fan of the decision. However, then there's there's other people out on the outside saying, you know, that from podcasts that I've, I've seen saying, oh, well, It seems like the WNBA is trying to kind of told her to turn it down. I don't know what to think anymore about this stuff because it's always possible nowadays. And then you you couple that with the fact that the WNBA clearly screwed Caitlin Clark out of player of the week, having a video montage already prepared only to call Sabrina Ionescu the player of the week going 25, five and five while Caitlin Clark broke the WNBA assist record for a game. And when was that 22 and a half, 12.8. And I think five, five and a half, six rebounds a game. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I certainly think that 22 and a half and 12.8 assists with six rebounds a game is better than 25, five and five, but that's me. That's my thought. So maybe she was pissed off there too. I don't know. At this point, I'm disappointed. She's not in it. I'm disappointed that they're both not in it. Um, it sucks because this is when the WNBA needs to have its stars. Really, its star because it has one star, and the one star is Caitlin Clark um, competing in this event, and they completely dropped the ball. But now you have what happened last night at the WNBA Orange Carpet event. Now, I don't even really know what an Orange Carpet event is. Um, I don't know if they even have this in the NBA. Uh, I know I, I've never seen it broad. I've never seen it publicized if they do have it. I know they have parties, but I, I don't know about this particular type of event. However, this particular event is for obviously the WNBA All-Stars to be at. So guess who wasn't there? Angel Reese. Angel Reese decided that the WNBA orange carpet event for her first All-Star game as a rookie was not as important as going to go watch some G League, Summer League level game, Summer League game in Vegas. Well, they're not even in Vegas. They're, hell, the, the, it's in Vegas. So was she actually in Vegas and not in Phoenix? Because this game is in Phoenix. She's at the Summer League. Whether it's in Vegas or in Phoenix, she was not at the Orange Carpet event um, for the WNBA. Now, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. This is an event for all stars. How in the world are you going to sit here and tell me that you're an all star and you don't go to the the, the the event for all stars in your first all star game, and then it's insinuated on 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 Twitter or, or or on social media that she's going where she's being paid, basically insinuating that the reason that she's not at this orange carpet event is because she's not being paid to be there, because their salaries aren't high enough to to warrant her going to this event rather than going to the Summer League game. Who the hell's paying her to go to the Summer League game? No one's going to watch a Summer League game because Angel Reese is there. Nobody cares. But this is embarrassing. This is an embarrassing situation. You are an All-Star. You should be at the All-Star events. Every other All-Star was at this event. Every one of them, including Caitlin Clark, including Sabrina Ionescu. They were all there. But Angel Reese makes the decision, and whoever guides her tells her that's okay to not show up. This league needs its players more than ever to do things that they don't want to do. And I'm not sitting here saying you should do everything that you don't want to do. 
But at the end of the day, you, in order to make your game better, in order to grow your game, you need to be at events. No one watches Angel Reese play basketball. I don't know if people know that or not. No one really watches her play basketball. She doesn't have the highest rated games, not even remotely close to the highest rated games. Not even close. Right? So if she doesn't have the highest rated games, why do people care about Angel Reese? I can tell you where they care about Angel Reese. They care about Angel Reese in social media world. They care about Angel Reese in fashion. I can tell you from the posts that we put up, from the videos that we put up, Angel Reese videos get as much viewership as any. In fact, they probably draw the most. And most of the time, it's people either on one side of the fence or the other. If you criticize Angel Reese, guess who comes for you? All the Angel Reese lovers who say you're an idiot and don't know what you're talking about and, and call you names. If you say that, if you criticize her, or if you say something nice about her, those people don't speak. And the people that don't like her come and criticize and comment and call you names. So one way or another, she's a very polarizing character, very, very polarizing figure, and she makes the needle move in social media world. Are you sitting here telling me that with all the pictures that she posts on Instagram and wherever else in outfits, she's wearing outfits that are skimpier than freaking hell to go to basketball games that she's going to play in? Or the fact that she's wearing shorts that barely covered her ass at a summer league game last week with, J with Jalen Brown and Kaisri Gons, Gons, whatever her name is? A pair of shorts that if you're a father of a daughter, you'd never want to see your daughter wearing to a freaking basketball game? But yet, that's what she was wearing, and it drew crazy response on social media. Angel Reese has an impact in social media, big time. The outfit she wears or would have worn this orange carpet event would have been posted everywhere. While people may not care about her basketball ability or her game, and I'm not saying everyone, I'm saying a large majority don't care because the ratings will tell you who they care about. The ratings will tell you that almost every single game, the top rated game in every network or every week is, a, is an Indiana Fever game. The only time that Chicago Sky was in that, on that lit, is on that list is when they played the Indiana Fever. Otherwise, nobody cares. No one's watching. But at an event like this, this is the area in which Angel Reese thrives. This is the area in which she has 3.7 million followers or more, depending on the platform. And so she doesn't show up. I mean, I see that she was there today in, in a shoot around, shooting a half court shot or whatever that went in. And of course, it's been posted everywhere on social media as well because, oh my God, she made a, a 45, 50 foot shot. Clearly, by complete luck, acting like it was meant to go in. Sorry, folks. Anytime someone hits a half-court shot, even if it's Steph Curry or Dame Lillard or LeBron James, it's luck. It's luck. It's not a skill. It's not a skill at a 45-foot shot. Sorry. But this is crazy. The WNBA, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how the WNBA doesn't require that they be there. If you don't show up, you shouldn't even be in the All-Star Weekend. Stay home. Stay home. Your job is to help promote this league. You want to get paid real dollars? Help promote the league at events that are not paid. In fact, you, do, you probably do get paid a little bit for being in the all-star team. But the NBA didn't always get paid this kind of money. And you know what's happened as the NBA players have made more and more and more and more, 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 more money? They do less and less and less and less and less and less and less. And they've made the game very hard to watch. And they've, made, they've turned fans off left and right, which is why their ratings continue to go down the drain. Why their network, their network deal just was th is, is through the roof now is beyond me because their ratings are the worst that they've been in 25 years. They're horrible. The ratings for the NBA are horrible for, what they're, for what's being paid now for, the, for that deal. The ratings of the finals the last four years are trash in comparison to what they were the 10 years before that. And they don't even come close to what the ratings were in 1998, Michael Jordan's last season. 
this is a bad look. Angel Reese chose herself. Angel Reese always chooses herself. And this is nothing new with Angel Reese. She's about self. I keep saying it. She didn't care about her team winning or losing. She cared about a record. She doesn't care about the WNBA. She cares about her pocketbook. She doesn't care about her impact on this event. She doesn't care about the her colleagues and her the, the, the other all-stars um, who are there. She cares about Angel Reese. What if all 24 of these all-stars decide they weren't going to go to the orange carpet event? Why even have the event? The event's for them. The event is for them. And you don't show up to go to a fucking summer league game? It is a, this is just a, a, this is just no, this is not a surprise because her personality has been shown. Her character has been shown. Her character was shown during that streak, begging for basketballs down or up big. Her character is shown every time she shoots the ball back to herself. And I'm beginning to think at times that she shoots it back to herself on purpose. Her character is shown when you're an all-star. And the, this is an event for all stars. No one's making you put on sneakers. No one's making you shoot jump shots. No one's making you do. No one's making you work. They're asking you to do what you actually seem to enjoy doing, which is getting dressed up and showing off in front of fucking cameras. And you won't do that. You'll go to a summer league game that has nothing to do with your league, nothing to do with you, nothing to do with your team, and nothing to do with the all star game. For the women. So why would you even show up to the All-Star game tomorrow if, if it's so unimportant? It, it, it's pathetic, but I, I expect nothing less. I expect nothing less from the one Angel Reese. I expect nothing less from her. Because this is who she has shown herself to be. She's more important than her team. She's more important than the league. She's more important than anything. All that matters to Angel Reese is that you get, she gets paid to show up. But again, what's new? And you wonder why this league is complete and utter, is, 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 a, is a colossal failure for 27 years. If I'm any one of those older all-stars like Asia Wilson, who in her in herself has had plenty of things to say about other people that she should just shut her mouth to. But Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart, any one of these older veterans, you know, who've been there for six, seven, eight years or more, I'd be very upset. In fact, I'd be offended that you think you're too big to come to this event. But again, they'll never do that. They'll never speak out. They'll never say a word. But they'll sure as shit complain when, Aunt, when Caitlin Clark gets attention for what she does. They'll complain about that, which they've done all year. Again, I'm not happy that Caitlin Clark and Sabrina are not competing tonight in this three-point contest. I'm not going to watch it. I don't even care anymore. I have no interest in watching non-stars competing in a game, competing in an event meant for your stars. I'm not saying John Quell Jones isn't an all-star. She is. But stars, the star power, the star power. Star power is Caitlin Clark, and I'm so disappointed. But that wasn't a requirement. That's a competitive activity. While I would love to have seen her do it, it's a competitive activity. This is a gala, is a ball, it's a photo op. Shit that Angel Reese does every day on her own for free on, 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 on Instagram, on TikTok. But whatever, man. They, this is why they are where they are. Well, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us. And come on now.